Yo, 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 it's Big Ant, the spokesman, man. We back. Another edition of Urban Politicians TV, UPTV. Make sure you stay on your pivot at all times, man. Had to come tap in real quick. We here. My bad. I'm late. I was ripping and running, trying to get some stuff done. But we on here, man. We got to talk about it. We got to tap in. We got to go straight in. And I'm going to keep this all the way a thousand. This is just one of them things that somebody like me, I, I feel a way about this, right? And not because of Jerry Jones. This ain't about Jerry Jones. This about us. This bigger than Jerry Jones to me. The system is bigger than Jerry Jones to me. We watch the display of behavior and everything of that nature. Stephen A. Smith, my dude, my guy, what you want? You want to tap dance or you want to be in reality? I asked you that, bro. I asked Stephen A. Smith that. Are you tap dancing or are you in reality? Y'all can't hear me? Y'all can't hear me? Mic check, mic check. You can hear me? Mic check. Let me know something, man. What we sounding like? What we sounding like? What we sounding like, man. Shout out to everybody in the replay game. We good, we good, okay. Now, for the people that don't know, there was a desegregation mo moment in Arkansas where Jerry Jones is from. If you don't know who Jerry Jones is, a oh, uh, big money getter, big factor in Texas, uh, big staple, Dallas Cowboy owner, just a super big time billion dollar businessman. You feel me? Cool, no problem. To be honest with you, I'm not here to call the man out as a racist. That's not even the goal here. I don't get nothing out of that. If I seen Jerry Jones today, I have no issue, no beef, or no problem. I just like to have correct dialogue and processing and understanding information. Jerry Jones, if you want to, if let's say he was, I'm not saying he is. Let's say he was a racist, right? That's cool. I move accordingly. Just because you're a racist does not mean I'm finna hit you. Doesn't mean I'm gonna damage you. Doesn't mean I'm gonna do harm to you at all. No. We just take the information as it is and we move on. He's this happened 65 years ago. The photo, let me find the photo real quick, y'all. My bad. Let me find this photo. And are we gonna get to the interview? Then we'll get until uh we'll do the, the interview and then we're gonna get to uh Stephen A. Smith's account of this. Actually, let's go to CNN. She has the photo here. We just really gonna use this for the photo. And then we gonna get to Stephen A. Smith. And why I have issue with what he said. Any piece of reporting, yeah. we're gonna talk. Washington Post reporting. Reports that Jones, who was 14 at the time, could be seen standing a few yards from where the six black students were being jostled and repelled with snarling racial slurs by ringleaders of the mob. So joining us now, sports and feature columnist at the Washington Post, Sally James. So is everybody seeing this photo? This from 1957. He was 14 or 15 at the time. 14 or 15 at the time. This is from 1957. This is racism. See the black kids, you see the group of white kids standing in front of them. Um, I mean, it is what it is. You in the mix with that. Let's go. Could be seen standing a few yards from where the six black students were being jostled. Y'all see this dude with the cigarette in his mouth? This is crazy. Hold it repelled with snarling racial slurs by ringleaders of the mob. So joining us now, sports and feature columnist at the Washington Post, Sally Jenkins. Uh, Sally broke this story along with her co-author, David Moranis. We're so happy that you could join us this morning. Thank you very much. Happy Thanksgiving to you. And again, I have to commend you on your reporting this whole Amazing. thing. 
Is right. I mean, it's, it's, it's stunning. really stunning. It's fascinating. So, so let's start with the picture, okay? And then we'll talk about you know how we could have sort of moved diversity along with coaching in the NFL and, and in sports. Let's start with this photograph, though. What did what did you what did you learn about this book from this photograph? Well, I think the first thing you learn is is just how uh, widespread the segregationists were in Little Rock and North Little Rock. Jerry Jones's high school was North Little Rock, which was across the Arkansas River from Central High School, which is the school that got all of the attention when uh, Eisenhower sent in federal troops to protect the Little Rock Nine at that school over there. But the segregationist agitators were actually very active on both sites. And the fact that uh, we knew that generationally, Jerry Jones had to have experienced the events in Little Rock more generally, but to find him in the photograph and, and to learn that he experienced one of those incidents right on the schoolhouse steps was pretty revelatory. We were blown away, uh, to put it mildly. Let me ask you about this picture just quickly here, because he is saying, he's using saying, you know, I was just there. I wasn't participating. I was there just sort of to uh, observe. Um, but the, with the photograph, what you, guys, what you point out in your reporting is that in order to get where he was at the top of those stairs, and he had to get up there pretty quickly, and those were sort of the students that were keeping the um, the black students from entering. This is well, people just coming in. We gonna watch this real quick. Let y'all get this information. We'll take in Jerry Jones' take on it, and then we'll see what Stephen A. Smith have to say and why I have a problem with what Stephen A. Smith said say anything about his participation that are you making any sort of judgment about it or uh no i well i two things first of all uh uh he's, he's a little at the time so he's actually younger than the ringleaders that you can see in the photographs that's one thing that we noticed we did look at a sequence of photos leading up to those schoolhouse steps and the white teenagers on the steps did have to move around the black students to get to the top of the steps Nevertheless, he is uh, further back. He is younger than the lead participants. And so I think that, you know, you simply have to take him at his word unless something else appears, that he was there more out of curiosity and fascination uh, as opposed to being really at the very epicenter of, of the active events. It, he does remember, one thing he told us that did not make it in the story is that he does remember that it got physical. Uh, mm. the, the tough guys that you see in the center of the photograph end up really pushing uh, the kids down off the steps. Um, and in fact, one of them is arrested. I hope uh, everyone takes a moment to read the reporting that uh, that you and David did as they watched football, because the reason you did this is not just about that photo, it's about what it means with his position of power in the league now and the NFL now and the position of power the Cowboys have, right? And this is part of what the Washington Post is doing, examining the NFL's, as you guys call, decades-long failure to equitably promote black coaches, right? And, uh, and, and yes. I, go ahead. Uh, well, this story is part of a long uh, series we've been doing called Blackout, which is examining the issues in the league about the, the fact that almost 70% of the workforce is black, and yet uh, there are only three head coaches. One of the things our data has found is that mid-level uh, black coaches who do manage to get head coaching jobs waited an average of nine years longer in mid-level assistant coaching jobs than their white counterparts. Hey, she giving y'all the facts, not me. Stephen A. Smith, these are the facts, my nigga. It's not, and I want to make this very clear. I would see Jerry Jones today. I have no issue with Jerry Jones. You want to know why? He was in that time. He was living in that time. He said he went out of there toward, for curiosity. I only have one issue with Jerry Jones. One, and I'm going to get to that in a second. But she's telling y'all the facts. So what do we want to do here? She said the average black person has to wait nine years in the league to get promoted as to that of their white counterparts. But the workforce is 75% black. What are we doing? What are we doing? So there's some very striking inequities within the league, as the league admits. And by the way, Jerry Jones was the only owner to talk to us for this uh, series in any in-depth way. We give him a lot of credit for sitting down and having this very difficult conversation. Yeah. So this white lady is frontlining 
This white lady is having a conversation. Why are there no black coaches in the league where well, 75% of the workforce is black? So they're doing this documentary right up, having these conversations uh, to the NFL. Now, salute to Jerry Jones. She said that he was the only one that was willing to speak with them about this topic. He's the only owner. The other owners didn't want to have this conversation. Let's go. I'm glad, I'm glad you bring that up, right? They all should have talked to you, by the way. But look, you one of the uh, sportscasters, well-known retired sportscaster in Dallas, uh, Dale Hansen, said, what frustrates me most is he, meaning Jerry Jones, is in such a position, such a leader, that if he would take a strong stance, stance he could be the force of change in the NFL. And it seems like from your reporting, um, Jones agrees that he could be the change maker here for the league. He did agree. And that was one of the more interesting uh, things in our conversation with him, which, which lasted well over two and a half hours. Uh, he said, I Salute. understand that. I agree with that. Uh, we discussed why he hadn't been at the forefront of this issue until now. Uh, and the short answer to that is that he's he's been more uh, concerned with trying to win, uh, you know, Super Bowls and appointing, you know, men who were old friends of his or that who he knew to the job. Mm. Y'all see what that is? He keeping it real. He kept it real. See, this is why I don't be want to even talk to certain niggas, right? He said, he has been concerned. Why hasn't this been addressed with this topic in the NFL? What did he say? Jerry Jones say, hey, man, I'm up. I'll be trying to get Super Bowls and I'll be trying to promote old friends and people that I knew to the jobs. Hey, he keeping it honest. And guess what? I respect that. I respect that, Jerry. I respect it because you know what? He not sugarcoating it. He's not sugarcoating it. That's the way this country works. It's bigger than Jerry Jones. It's not his fault that he came into this system like that. It's not his fault that these kids, these young teenagers were raised to be racist. It's not their fault entirely. We all have to take accountability and responsibility for our actions. But this ain't Jerry Jones' fault. It's the system that was put in place that is passed down. Let's go. Let's get it. Now, this is what I'm saying. This ain't Jerry Jones' fault. But it is what it is. That's all I'm saying. So, Stephen A. Smith, when you jump out here and you say certain things, this is why niggas get upset with you and you get called these names. Because it is what it is, my nigga. Don't act like this ain't a conversation or they just tripping. Like people is all oh, y'all trying to tear Jerry Jones down and the media, da da da. No, my nigga. 75% of the workforce is black. And they got what? I think she said three head black coaches. College uh, teammate, his, his second head coach was Barry Switzer, and again, a guy he went way back to Arkansas with. And so, you know, he's forthright in trying to address these these tough questions. It doesn't mean you'll always be satisfied by his answers. But again, he was one of the only owners, the only owner, to really sit down and talk to us uh, to this extent about it. All right, so you have to give him some credit there. But I mean, listen, there were failures, and there, and there are failures in the NFL, as, you're, as this is uh, pointing out. So then, then <laughs> he ain't trying to. Hey, this nigga here ain't trying to hear shit. He said, <laughs> "Hey, this that same nigga that was talking to Charles Barkley." Hey, that nigga say, "Nah, this some failures." <laughs> as you have been reporting this again, Sally, it's great. Everyone should read this. It's fascinating. Um, so what's what's the solution here? What you, what do you think should be done? Well, I think one solution is is the the NFL has launched an inaugural accelerator program. It's not a solution. It's a it's a tool. It's a mechanism to try to help owners get to know owners uh, more personally. What uh, a lot of times what they lack are the close personal relationships. Uh, you know that's one thing we've heard. 
Uh, owners don't spend much time with them. Uh, you know, owners talk to lots of head coaches. They talk to very few uh, assistant coaches. If you're an owner of the New York Giants or the Dallas Cowboys, you're not you're not probably spending a great deal of time talking to your running backs coach. So this accelerator program is one idea to try to get those relationships mm. moving along. Uh, you know, I, I, we'll see if it if it works. Quite frankly, a, a much better idea is for a team like the Dallas Cowboys, a real maker of manners, to hire a black head coach and to have a winning record or win a Super Bowl with one. When Tony Dungy was hired and won Super Bowls uh, with the Indianapolis Colts, it definitely did trigger a moment there where the NFL looked like it was going to become much, much more diverse in its head coaching ranks. And then as our series reported, it actually moved backward. It constricted again. Yeah. Sally Jenkins uh, joins us and David Moranis is also uh, the co-writer on it. It's, good. it's from the Washington Post. Jerry Jones helped transform the NFL, except when it comes to race. Again, it is fascinating uh, an in-depth read, and I think everyone should uh, should check it out. Thank you. Happy Thanksgiving to you. Numbers. Moving. Okay. So we have that. Let's head over here. Um, like I said, I'm I'm just having some dialogue. I have no personal problem with Jerry Jones because I accept things as what they are. But Stephen A. Smith, I don't like your the way you spoke on it, my guy. I don't agree with that. So let's get into the, and, and let me put the photo up again for no, for the people who haven't seen it. But some can stop you in your tracks. Let me find that photo once again. So y'all can actually see the photo that came out and surfaced that went online. This is the photo. Jerry Jones is there with the red dot on him. This is in Arkansas. Let me do something real quick, y'all. We finna get to it. Hold on just a second. And I want people to really just understand with me, bro, how I move with these things. I, I operate in logic. I operate in reality. I operate in really understanding the words that are being said and taking you know everybody has an opinion or a feeling you're gonna everybody got feelings everybody got different feelings everybody got things that are triggering or not triggering things that they care about and don't care about things that they are passionate about or not passionate about right cool but if we having a conversation about the topic at hand there needs to be an understanding of what was said and what was meant and the answers and how they were answered and what was took from it. If it wasn't said, then it wasn't addressed. If it wasn't denounced, then it wasn't denounced. There is no opinion about that. So this is a form of racism. You are not frontlining. People say, well, he's not frontlining it. Well, he's right behind the front line i mean he's right in the mix of it he's on the steps this is front line in the meeting you just ain't the number you ain't the head of it but you most definitely you playing the back role a little bit you are younger and it's very possible he stumbled into some shit that hey man i ain't know they was gonna do all that but hey at this moment in this moment in time would I expect a 14 year old Jerry, Jerry Jones to say, nah, my nigga, I'm not going up there with y'all. And, and, uh, and man, I'm cool with black people, bro. Nah, they was taught this. These kids here, these teenagers, they was taught this. So I wouldn't expect somebody that, right? I wouldn't expect somebody to do that. But what I do expect is when it comes out for it to be addressed. And I expect it to be denounced. I expect it to be denounced once it comes out. So let's go to, uh, My bad, y'all. My bad. My bad, my bad, my bad. 
I be I still like we be fucking up now. We ain't perfect now. We ain't perfect now. Let's get it. We finna go to this Jerry Jones interview, him addressing the photo. Let's go. Let me see if I can find the actual timestamp. So we ain't gotta watch this whole thing. People are saying he addressed it perfectly. Okay. Okay, he addressed it perfectly. From what I saw on the clips, it was not addressed in the way. I didn't I didn't I didn't hear him really address it. I, I felt there was talking in circles, but let's go through this. Let's see. Out here today. Oh my God, we have a lot of respect for that team. And the uh, team just finds a way to hang in there and win the game. And uh, we thought maybe that's what they were getting into. You guys were on the short week, Jerry, obviously coming off a, an extremely dominant win. Just what does it say about your team that you now put together to back to that game where you guys have just looked solid? Well, I, th I think it's encouraging. It really is. Um, uh, those are good teams we're playing. And uh, so that is encouraging. And uh, we should we should build on that. That should encourage us. And uh, uh, we've got some uh, a little time off here. Our uh, flu bug will kind of uh, be uh, hopefully taken care of during that time. But still, uh, these two wins, so, uh, uh, that's going to be good as we go forward. Jerry, was this encouraging when you saw from Michael Gallup today and just the receiving? <laughs> And I ain't got the hold on my bad job. I'm trying to find them. Because they'd come to the game and uh, you didn't have that kind of attendance around the NFL. Uh, monumental uh, uh, event, really. That was that was going on. And, okay, hold on. We uh, found it. We done. Uh, it's a fantastic thing for. Uh, okay, for people just coming in, shout out to the replay game. We're going to watch what his response was to those photos. We're going to watch his response to the photos, and we want to take everything that he was said after this was asked. And this is from what I saw on Instagram. I didn't, I don't have a problem with Jerry Jones, but I didn't, it didn't satisfy me. And I'm not here to say that he has to satisfy me because he doesn't at all, but I wasn't satisfied by it. Do that around the country. That's not that's an amazing thing in our culture. I know it's kind of low, y'all. Uh, puts the shoes on them when they don't have them, and they don't have a meeting about it. They put them on, they feed them, meet about that, and they put Santa Claus on the tree, meet about that. And so it's wonderful just to be a place that uh, our nation can look and uh, see uh, and be reminded about the Salvation Army. And I will say this, that probably will be the second uh, audience to the Super Bowl uh, over the next 12 months. So it's a big audience out there. Proud to have it done. Proud of our team. Jerry, um, you get thoughts on the Washington Post article and how the picture they painted of you uh, from a picture uh, when you were 14 years old. Yeah, that, that was. Uh, uh, Here we go. They asked the picture they painted of you from when you were 14 years old. Let's get it. Gosh, uh, 60, 65 years ago. And. Uh, uh, Curious kid, uh, I didn't know at the time the uh, monumental uh, uh, event really that was that was going on, and uh, uh, I'm sure glad that uh, uh, we're a long way from that. I am, and uh, uh, we just uh, that would remind me just to uh, uh, continue to do everything we can uh, to uh, uh, not have those kinds of things happen. Any regrets of being in the photo being there at all? What? Any regrets on being in the photo being there at all? Well, I didn't. I wouldn't uh, have just dug that up. I'm right. sure. Right. I mean, seriously. But uh, uh, that was curiously. Uh, he was asked, "Does he have any regrets being there or being in the photo at all?" Y'all hear me? See, I don't. Whatever happened, happened, my guy. Whatever happened, happened. 
but he was asked, do you have any regrets being there or being in the photo? I don't know if y'all can hear that well. The audio is kind of low here. Uh, when you ask somebody they have regrets, me, this is a serious pop topic. You're asked today, though. You're asked today. Do you have any regrets? This can be a yes or no answer, or you can explain. Let's ex let's hear the explanation. Uh, I got criticized because I was more interested in how I was going to be punished by my coaches and everybody. He starts talking about his coaches, fam. Or being out front, but nobody there had any idea, frankly, what was uh, going to take place. Uh, you didn't, uh, we, we didn't have all the last 70 years of reference and all the things that were going in. So uh, you, you didn't have a reference point there. Uh, still, uh, I've got to have it as thick as snow is going. place. Bro, this ain't the answer that I want to hear. This is me, though. I'm a black man. When you stood in front of some black kids, true, the system of America, which I try to tell y'all that is not in our favor, and everybody said we got no issues, we got no complaints, true, you do have an opportunity to go be better. You do have the opportunity to go be great. It's upon you. You have to work. You have to sacrifice. You have to be disciplined. You have to educate yourself. You have to work hard. It's upon you to get out here and make a change for yourself. Correct. But I speak about how the system is against us. They taught these kids at this time, go against those kids because they black. Just because you didn't know at the time that it was wrong or you didn't have a reference didn't mean that it was okay. To see this behavior not be denounced and talked down about by him, I don't agree with that. And I say that in a way of I have no personal issue with Jerry Jones. I have no beef. But he did not denounce this behavior, bro. I sure did. Who cares if he got in trouble with his coach? What does his coach have to do with him being on the steps, going in some black kids? It's bigger than the coach. We living in a world today where people are still being killed because of their black skin. Something that is out of their control, my nigga. I don't get to control my skin color. You can control what religion you want to be a part of, my nigga. That's a decision. You can change your sexuality naturally if you want to. You can decide, you know what? I can wake up tomorrow and I want to not be uh, this whatever anymore. You can decide tomorrow, I don't want to be this religion anymore. But I can't decide my skin color. This is in my blood, in my makeup, in my DNA. I can't decide that. They gave us the name of black. Come on, let's go, my nigga. Well, it, uh, you know, I was uh, young and sophomore trying to make a thing. Uh, they kicked my ass. Jerry, Jerry, he came up to the Little Rock situation uh, at, at Little Rock Central, right? Uh, that photo, that incident. Watch me. Hey, bro. I, I just got to call it down the middle, my nigga. And I'll let some people come up and talk in a minute after we get to Stephen A. Uh, well, that Hold on real quick. Right? Uh, that, well, that incident. Watch me. Watch me. Right, was literally just two or three miles away. Was it the same day as Little Rock Central that came in? As I recall, day? as I recall, there was certainly in proximity with it. Uh, those were certainly uh, uh, the 
issues that uh, were going on, but uh, did not have the uh, structure or the, uh, the, it was not the event. So, Chair, do you understand the perception that people had when you were standing there? Because that was not exactly a welcoming committee meeting. Yeah. That's the question that has to be answered. That's the question he asked him directly. Do you understand the perception that people will have of you standing there because that was not a welcoming committee? Now, this is the answer y'all have to pay attention to. I sure do. And I understand that. Uh, but uh, I've uh, uh, misunderstood it. Yes. So for the people that look at that and say you were a part of that, and yeah. you're saying you were curious, and other people are saying, well, this was a crowd, basically, you know, look, look, uh, that was 65 years ago, and uh, I had no idea when I walked up there what we were doing. And um, uh, uh, it, um, it just is a reminder to me of uh, how to uh, uh, improve and do things the right way. So what did you think of the crowd who these kids were just trying to go to school? There's a whole lot of people in there. A lot of hostility to it. Yeah, we're, we're uh, you want to ask me what I was thinking? I, I was thinking about I'm going to get in trouble for being up here. And I didn't know what was going on. And uh, I was 15 years old. And, and so having said that, that's, uh, that's, that's all that I can remember. Okay. Jerry was reported that you're going to. No questions were answered. Did y'all hear that? Did y'all hear that? As I said before, bro, all I can do is take what they say, bro. I can't, fam, if you, you don't even have to really feel that way. But I don't want nobody to act like I don't want nobody to act like they away and they not. I want how you truly feel. And this is how he truly feel. The man is telling them, say, fam, y'all are telling a group of kids they can't go to school because they black. This is what you stood with. And your stand was that was 65 years ago. Is it do you feel like it's wrong? Like you're not elaborating? How do you feel about it? Kyrie explained more in depth that he is not anti this. He has no hate in his heart for nobody. He hasn't even addressed that. So is it on some stuff where it's like, man, I'm just making sure I don't say the wrong thing? I'm sorry, y'all. I live in reality. I have no beef. I have no pressure. I have no issue with Jerry Jones or the Cowboy organization. This is an educational moment to show y'all how we as a people are disadvantaged. Kyrie just got drugged, bro, for posting a tweet. Yes, it was 65 years ago, but it's in the media now. Are you going to denounce this behavior? Kyrie was gave a bulletin board that he needs to denounce this behavior. So what I'm calling here is the hypocrisy. But this ain't even staying safe to me. Because this is, are you with this or not? There shouldn't be a middle ground when it comes to racism in America. We, we, we understand most definitely the traumas, the damages that have been done all across the world to anybody due to race, religion, belief, anything is wrong. It should not be looked down upon and take, taken lightly, but we are in America. Native Americans, African Americans, and really, let's just call them natives. It's disrespectful to call them Native Americans because 
this they land and they just gave they land American and gave them a name. I'm going to just say the people that were here first, the people that were here first, them and most definitely African-Americans. It should be denounced any time a form of racism comes up. Hey, I don't agree with that. That was wrong. Yeah, I didn't really know what was going on, but I don't support that behavior. That's not what he said. Let's go. They going back to the sports. Let's go back for a second. For being up here, and I didn't see the crowd. Who was, these kids were just trying to go to school. There's a whole lot of people in the front And um, uh, uh, it, um, it just is a reminder to me of uh, how to uh, uh, improve and do things the right way. So, what did you think of the crowd? Who was, these kids were just trying to go to school. There's a whole lot of people in the front. A lot of hostility. Yeah, we're, we're, uh, you want to ask me what I was thinking? Okay, I was thinking about I'm going to get in trouble for being up here, and I didn't know what was going on. And uh, it's 15 years old. And, and so having said that, that's uh, that's that's all that I can remember. Okay? Jerry was reported that you're going to talk about that. Hmm. We classified that. I didn't. I just talked to him. Oh, y'all had a meeting, though. When he comes what, down. What? I, and I don't have a time frame. He was somebody else. Did you, did, did you feel it was? I'll visit with uh, any time you want to talk. They wrote that article. Did you feel it? Sally Jenkins, did, did you feel Oh, uh, we got Mo. A little ragged in our execution. I thought he said steady all day. And, um, excuse me. <coughs> that's a good sign. Have you had a chance to talk to Sally Jenkins and Dan since they wrote that article? Did you feel it? Sally Jenkins, did, did you feel it? I'll visit with uh, any time you want to. Good, I, I've explained that. Period. Period. I've explained that. Somebody else said. Calvin. Calvin. Yeah. Calvin. One time. I didn't meet with him. I talked to him. We classified. I didn't. I just talked to him. Oh yeah. Yeah. Um. Yeah. Um. I don't have, bro. Like I said, I would be doing myself a disservice if I felt that. Well, remember it again. It was. Let, let's be clear here, right? No matter, no matter what was going on at that time, my nigga. No matter what was going on at that time, you were participating in racism. Let's keep it a thousand, because if I was at the scene of a robbery. And I'm standing in front of somebody leaving. I'm an accessory to that crime. You most definitely were partaking in a racist and a racist act. Whether you were just curious, whether you were just going along or not. Now, true, he was 14. I'm not the one to sit up here and condemn somebody for life. You didn't have the information at that time. You didn't know at that time. But now it's 2022. So when this conversation comes up again, those answers are not just sitting correct with me. That's just a personal opinion. That's just a personal opinion. So let's get to it. Uh, let's go to Stephen A. Smith. We know what this is now. We'll go to what you calling them shit too. Uh, who these niggas is? Uh, Chris Broussard and Rob Parker. Let's see where y'all at with it in a second. But let's go to Stephen A. Smith first. I kind of want to go podcast tonight, man. I might try to see if I can pull up on my boy. Uh, pull up on my niggas. Uh. 
the Berkshire. Okay, let's get it. The only thing with Jerry, oh, you can't divide me and Jerry Jones 11 days ago. Oh, shit. Okay. So we'll watch this first, his, his reaction to it. In the ring, you give it your all. Los dos rounds. Let's listen and to what Stephen A says. It, um, uh, it just is a reminder to me of. Oh, even better. Stephen A. Smith, you saw the response. Let me put this on full screen mode. Stephen A. Smith, you saw the response, nigga. See, I'm going to talk to you different. Uh, how to uh, uh, improve and do things the right way. Okay. A little context here. The Cowboys are one of seven teams not to have had a black head coach and have had two black coordinators since Jones has owned the team, but their highest football executive vice president of player personnel, Will McClay, is black. Jones has complied with the Rooney rule in which teams have to interview minority candidates. Jones said his decisions are made for business reasons, not race. Stephen A., your reaction to all of this? <sighs> The fact that they had to issue a Rooney rule, a Rooney rule, meaning y'all have to interview black people in a league that is 75% black in the workforce. The lady came with the facts, not me. The white lady pressing the line. Let's see what the white lady is pressing the line, the white lady. Stephen A. Smith, let's see what you got to say, nigga. I'm pretty pissed off. And let me say this. Why they got this fucking I'm pissed off, but not for reasons that people would think. I'm very, very fond of Jerry Jones. And I'm not hiding that from anybody. Is his record perfect? No. But I'm pissed off because he doesn't deserve what just happened. He doesn't deserve it. One report, our report said he was 14 years old. Another report said he was 15 years old. At minimum, that's 65 years ago. You're going to bring up a picture of Jerry Jones standing at this protest. No question what was happening is not something that anybody as a black person should be appreciative about. We had six students at that particular North Little Rock High School that was trying to desegregate the school. No one should it be was, okay it, with it, it. Nobody should be okay with that. Regardless of We race. understand that. We get all of that. We also understand what we as Black people and as Black folks, Black men have to deal with. And by the way, to some degree, we still deal with a lot of things, and we all know it. Racism is alive and well. Bigotry and prejudice is alive and well. We get all of that. What I'm saying is, Here's the part that bothers me. You want to get on Jerry Jones and his track record, fine. In 2003 or so, you know what? You should have hired you, you, Dennis Green shouldn't have got an interview on the phone. It should have been an in-person interview. Right. You should have followed the letter of the rule of the law as it pertained to the Rooney rule. He wanted Bill Parcells, universally recognized one of the greatest football coaches we've ever seen. It was clear he wanted Jerry, Bill Parcells. Nobody else was going to have a chance of getting that job. That's what he wants to do. You want him a liner for that, fine. You want to point out that he's one of seven black uh, uh, NFL owners that's never hired an African-American as a head coach? Fine. Do all of that. Attack him for that. Go ahead. Yeah. No problem. I see a plethora of African-Americans employed by him. I see black players who play for him who rave about this man and what he's done for them on a personal level. But if you want to go by his hiring record when it comes to head coaches, no problem. Can't go to executive route because we know it's him. You know what I'm saying? You want to be the president, right. GM, the owner. You want to do everything. And then he's got his children that he leads on as well. So you can't go to executive route. But you want to get on him about the head coaches, fine. But you're going to bring up a photo of him yeah. when he was 14, 15 years old, 65 or 66 years ago. We This is this is where cancer culture gets into the mix. And Let's be clear, Stephen A., you're doing a lot of pandering and a lot of uh you're doing a lot of buck dancing now, bro. 
Did you watch? Did you watch the response he gave? Like I said, it is what it is, man. It is what it is. We not here to sugarcoat it. There is no beef with Jerry Jones. I get nothing from that. He from that era. Just like, nigga, our president was an open racist. You're going to be mad at somebody for saying, hey, this guy stood on the steps blocking black kids from going to school? Nah. I don't, I'm not here to say that got to follow you for life. But if you get questioned about it, everybody get questioned about their past, my nigga. Everybody. Everybody past follows them. If you break the law in America, my nigga, your past follows you for life. Your history, your actions. If you kill somebody when you're 15, you are a murderer for life. Let's be clear. If this was the people that Kyrie Irving stood in, or, or complaining about, if you had something against them back in the day, does that matter? Y'all see what I'm saying? Stephen A, the group of people, the group of people, that group that was going at Kyrie Irving, if a photo comes out of a nigga doing something hateful towards them, whether he's in the front line and back line and blocking them on the steps, what are they going to say? What do y'all think? How we going to press and we don't own nothing? Hey, Mitch Smith, once I come on, if you don't put your face on here, you're getting blocked. Mitch Smith, once I come on, you have to come stand on what you're saying or I'm blocking you. Uh, do y'all get what I'm saying That That group, if an NFL owner came out saying or going at them, standing in front of them on the steps because of their religion. Do we think that this answer that he gave would be the same or would he have to denounce that behavior? Stephen A. See, the problem is the hypocrisy, nigga. And I'm going to call you nigga because that's how we get each other attention. Not because I'm ignorant. Not because you ignorant. It's because you picking and choosing, my nigga. And I would tell Stephen A. Smith, I feel like I'm qualified to talk to you now, nigga. Because you talking about something that affects me, nigga. The same group of people that Kyrie Irving just had an issue with. Let's say there was a photo that came out of a motherfucker standing in front of them and protesting against them. And it resurfaced. Do you think they give a fuck how long ago it was, nigga? You fucked up with me, Stephen A. Nah, I was going to keep it cool today. I was going to keep the shit cool today, nigga. But you done fucked up with me, nigga. You fucked up, nigga. Let's see what else this nigga got to say. You're making an attempt to eradicate him, what he stands for, and all he has done. I will remind you, we've had Senator Robert Byrd, who passed away a few years ago, that was a member of the KKK. We've had other politicians, you know, whose record, who, who didn't want the, the segregate, who didn't want uh, uh, desegregation. Right. The George Wallaces of the world, the Bull Connors of the world, and others, okay? We've seen all of this. You got elected officials on Capitol Hill that are implementing and legislating policy that affects our lives. And but we're gonna go to Jerry Jones. When, and, and by the way, I don't have a problem with the photo. I don't have a problem. If he was 30, 35, 40 years old, that's different. Right. 14, 15 years old, 
14, 15 years old. Right. So now some folks are going to get to look at Jerry Jones and who's from Arkansas. It's the South. We understand what the South represented. You understand what I'm saying? Remember, when, Pete, when, when slavery ended with the Emancipation Proclamation, you talked about 1863 or what have you. What did Dr. Martin Luther King talk about? Well, you didn't give black folks nothing. You 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 rid, you rid of slavery from them, but you gave them no land. But you gave white peasants from Europe land in the West and the Midwest. Okay, so we understand from an historical perspective where it all comes from, what the South represented at least once upon a time, and in some people's eyes still to this day. But we're gonna lean on somebody when he was fourteen. Nigga, it ain't leaning on him. It's addressed. Let's see where you stand today, nigga. Cause it's still going on. Ain't nobody leaning on nothing, bro. It ain't no leaning. It's a post, nigga. Address it. All they do is say, hey, man, I was young. I was uneducated. The world was a certain way at the time that I had to, that I learned was un was wrong. And I'm not like that. I'm not that type of person. And come with the famous line that all white racist people use. Not saying he is a racist, but the white line the line that I have friends that are black. I employ people that are black. That's it. But that explanation is something that would make a black man feel like, hold on, my nigga. Hold on, my nigga. Hold on, nigga. What? What, nigga? What we doing? VP made a great point. The NFL just got caught. Politicking the, with the Miami Dolphins. See, he's making this personal. I'm not making this shit personal. This shit bigger than Jerry Jones, nigga. This shit bigger than you, Stephen A. Smith. This ain't just about Jerry Jones, nigga. This ain't just about Jerry Jones, nigga. This ain't about the NFL, nigga. It's bigger, nigga. It's bigger, nigga. years later to say you know something yeah you ain't hire a black coach i think that's pretty low i really really do i think that's i think that part is pretty low if he were an adult yeah. that would be different but a, he had an opportunity to speak on it as an 14, adult though, 15 year old kid raised in the south who literally is just standing there looking and we use that to bring up in the year 2022. Oh, this is where you are. You got to explain this. You ready to explain what you did when you were 14? Yeah. How about you? Right. I can't. I don't know if I want to, especially how the world will perceive it today. Yeah. And I'm 55. Yeah. This man is 80. What the fuck does that have to do with anything, nigga? 66 years ago. Come on, y'all. Yeah, I, I, I have a 14-year-old daughter, and you know, at 14, the, you know, I'm, I mean, I'm satisfied with the answer that he that he gave. That he was yeah. there. Oh, you satisfied? Who the fuck is you, nigga? Who is this nigga? Out, curiosity was like that. He was there throwing something at the yeah. students. He wasn't out there yelling at him. There's no photo. It's right. a photo of him just seeing, being yeah. curious. And at how influential a 14-year-old in, in in our time would be a ninth grader influenced by 10th graders and people that you look up to about what's going on at your school. Yeah. Now, I wonder where the origins of this picture is coming from. And, I, and, it, and it just pops in my head, maybe Dan Snyder, you know, what he said about opposition and having stuff on people. Mm -hmm. I wonder, you know, because it's curious that this comes up at this because particular it, time. Because it's coming out of Washington? Yeah, and, 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 the, fact, and, and, the, yeah. Fact, and, and the fact that it's coming up at this time when we know the heat is on the, the commander. When Daniel Snyder and I, basically said, I got stuff on everybody. Right, but but for me, I can't I can't hold a fourteen year old accountable for his actions, even if he was there yelling and screaming because how influential you know you are at that age and following the crowd. My nigga, if you commit a crime at fourteen, you go into prison, nigga. When you fourteen, you go into prison, nigga. If you do something at fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, they taking your black ass to prison, nigga. You gonna be held accountable, nigga. What the fuck is you talking about? What is these niggas talking about, man? 
These niggas is, man, hey, bro. Um, but I, but it does make me kind of look at the history of Jerry Jones when you think about, you know, he was the only owner that, you know, didn't allow his players to take a knee for the call. <laughs> Come on. He was the only owner that did not let his lo- his players take a knee for the calls. See, this is the thing, bro. This country is executed and ran off of race, my nigga. Everything in this country is based off of race. Race, race, race. The first thing you see is a motherfucker race. That's because they created that. So when you were 14, you were on the scene standing against the black kids. Right? Correct? You get into the NFL, you're one of the few teams that has not had a black head coach. And when black people were having the calls and kneeling, you're the only coach that said that your players can't kneel. Let's go. Right. So you look at it that way, but I don't think this is a smoking gun like, aha, we got you. You know, it's, it's been no records of him, no tapes of him. You know, saying you know derogatory things about the African American community. Right. So why do you have to say things when you, bro? For me, it, this is a nothing burger, and I know that you know in this cancel culture, we want to have outrage. We're not trying to cancel them, my nigga. We just checking niggas' temperatures, bro. I don't believe in cancel culture. We don't cancel shit, nigga. We just, hey, nigga, we holding niggas accountable, nigga. We get held accountable every day, nigga. The fuck is y'all talking about, nigga? What the fuck? But I can't be outraged about a 14-year-old that's, you know. Bro, I'm not outraged at all. I'm just questioning the motherfucking response. Sitting there watching some black kids and maybe he's never had encounters with out of pure curiosity. Can I just say one thing as the only person that's not black and I didn't know where you guys were going to go? You could have went the total opposite end of the spectrum and no one would have faulted you. So it's really big of all of you to show so much grace in in this situation when when you didn't have to and i hope it's lended on the other side of the coin yeah i just wonder what i do wonder about is not a 14 year old who's in a picture uh, three years after brown versus board of board of education right when things are desegregated and people are opposing it i don't wonder about that i don't wonder about uh, not 65 years ago when even if you weren't standing and protesting a lot of people still believe what they believed about racism about black people i don't wonder about that I don't even wonder about how, even if, even if, you know, there was another incident in Arkansas with nine kids trying to say, right, 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 right in the same city, right so across, a few I miles away. I don't wonder about that. Right. But what I will say is now you're 80 and you're an owner and forget the picture. This is separate of the picture. You have an opportunity. And that I think was what the article was trying to point to. You have an opportunity to change hiring practices. You have an opportunity to help change even your kids and the culture of the NFL. You are, Jerry Jones is a trailblazer. And when it comes to owners, a lot of owners don't really like him. Right. They don't really rock with him, yeah. right? I've been right. in meetings with owners. I've helped go. They don't really. He, he's a trailblazer. Yeah. And so why not be a trailblazer tra- uh, uh, when it comes to not only hiring, but also. Hey, nah. Mm-hmm. That nigga was getting up. Hold on. He was getting up. Nah, he went. Hey, at first he started off with the, hold on, what nigga? But then he was getting there. Hold on, nigga. Okay, you uh, you such and such now. Nah, what what we doing? Nah, for real. What's homie name? I gotta find homie name. Nah, he was getting on his shit. Stephen A, let's see your dick eating ass, boy. You the home Depot, fuck it, nigga. I don't got no respect for you, nigga. Fuck you. Magic, fuck you, Stephen A. When it comes to get, fuck you, nigga. <laughs> okay, I want to start this by he said he runs hot and cold on Stephen A, and I just really can relate to him. So we just shared a moment there. Because, Jerry, I understand how you feel. Now, as for the rest of his comments. First of all, first of all, let me say this. What was that? What, what was that radio thing? That 105.3. You know what it 105. is. Let me, let me tell y'all parents. something. Let me tell y'all something out there. You can't divide me and Jerry. You can try. You can't divide me and my Libra brother. It ain't going to work. Now, hey, boy, you a bitch-ass nigga, boy. Shut your bitch ass up, nigga. Nah, fuck that, nigga. What is nigga? Man, what is whole ass nigga Stephen A. Smith from, man? Hey, nigga, nah, nigga, fuck that shit, nigga. Man, we ain't playing that shit no more. We ain't playing that. Hold on, nigga. What is whole ass nigga from, nigga? Fuck is you from? 
Oh, nigga, you from New York, nigga. You ain't got no roots. No wonder why you don't give a fuck, nigga. Nigga, what the fuck wrong with you, nigga? Hey, nigga, stay out of Texas business, nigga. Stephen A. Smith, you done fucked up with me, nigga. You done fucked up with me. Stay out of Texas business, my nigga, for real. Your opinion don't matter with this shit. You ain't got no roots down here, my nigga. Because if that had been Kyrie or any one of us, and we stood in front for a movement that go against another race and they brought that photo out, we got to come in and give a full explanation, my nigga. Am I right or wrong, nigga? And that ain't for me to go at New York, niggas. That ain't about no New York niggas, bro. This about some Texas shit right now, bro. I just got to he. You ain't personal with this shit, my nigga. We in this shit, nigga. My granny went through segregation, nigga. For real, for real. My granny went through this. My family from Louisiana, nigga. This shit don't concern you. You jumping out there defending the nigga. Nah, my nigga. It ain't no in-between with this shit, nigga. Nah, nigga, fuck that. Nigga, fuck that whole ass shit, nigga. Nah, nigga. Stephen A., you done fucked up with me, nigga. You done fucked up. You done really fucked up with me. Rob Stark say Stephen A. Pants from another country. They might not have been here, so he shouldn't have an opinion. I don't know. I don't know what Stephen A. Smith from. I don't know where this nigga from, but he done lost his mind, my nigga. You don't speak for nothing, nigga. You don't speak for nothing. And it's real niggas in New York that's down for the cause, bro. I'm going to keep it a thousand. It's real niggas in New York that's down for this motherfucking cause. This ain't separating Texas from New York. But when the New York nigga speaking heavily on some down south shit that he ain't got no roots to, you disqualified, nigga. You disqualified, nigga. I got to go straight at you now, nigga. You done lost your motherfucking mind speaking like that, nigga. The fuck wrong with this nigga, nigga? Shout out to my real niggas in the Bronx, nigga. Nah, nigga, you done lost your motherfucking mind. Shout out Rob Stark on the donation, my nigga. I got the motherfucking Patreon going too. Y'all tap into that motherfucker. I'm going to put the link in the description. Y'all go to the Urban Politicians TV Patreon, man. Queen, shout out to the real niggas in Queens, the real niggas in New York, period. But this ain't it, my nigga. This ain't it. Come on, my nigga. What is we doing? That ain't it. That ain't how we get out, my nigga. Hell no, nah, that ain't how we get out, nigga. Yeah, nigga, you lost your fucking mind, Stephen, eh? Stephen, A, nigga. Fuck wrong with you, dog. Like, for real, bro. I'm upset, nigga. I'm really upset about this shit. Get my shit squared away, nigga. Nah, nigga. We ain't, we ain't doing all that shit, bro. For real. Look here, my nigga. See, I tried to come in here and be respectful, bro. I tried, my nigga. But I can't sit back and watch this and not feel away, bro. I was trying to come in and be respectful to this nigga Stephen A. Smith. But you done fucked up, nigga. You done fucked up with me now. You sat up there and said that whole ass shit. And I'm going to tell you like this. If that was one of us and we was protesting that same group back in the day and going at that group that Kyrie and Kanye was talking about my nigga. 
Nigga be out here addressing it directly, accordingly, and apologizing about it. I don't give a fuck how long ago it was. See, I'm going to point out the hypocrisy, man. Jerry Jones don't owe me no explanation. We know what type of time they was on 50, 60 years ago, 65 years ago. We know these motherfuckers was racist. They went on code of what was going on. Yeah, nigga. Cool, whatever. You did it for that time, but now when it come back out, all you got to say for me is, yeah, I ain't with that. We all about equality now, and then we move on, unless you're not really moving like that. But for you to say people tripping for bringing the photo up, it was this and this. Nigga, if you 14 years old and you do a crime right now, nigga, that shit following you for life, nigga. Unless they seal the deal, they seal your records. We don't stand on business. Stephen A don't stand on business, nigga. 65 years ago, whenever, nigga. I don't give a fuck what it was if it was us. 65 years ago, 100 years ago, nigga. If you still living. All right. Is that one nigga still up in here? Let me find that one nigga, because if he not up in here, I'm going to drop the link. Anybody want to come tap in on this topic real quick? I don't respect that, bro. Nah, for real, though, nigga. Hell yeah, for shit show. They was killing niggas at 14. Talking about he was only 14, nigga. They was killing niggas at 14, nigga. They ain't look at us as humans then, my nigga. What the fuck is y'all talking about? So who said that Emmett Till was only 14? That's for real. Astro Rocket Texas, my God. Nah, for real, bro. Emmett Till was 14 when he was murdered, nigga. No, I don't expect them to do nothing. I don't expect the nigga to do nothing. This the thing with me. I don't expect nobody to do a goddamn thing, nigga. I don't expect a nigga to do a goddamn thing. Do what you do, and I'm just going to take what you do and move accordingly. And then we can commentate about it. That's all I'm doing. I have no beef with Jerry Jones or the Cowboys or the NFL. I'm just going to call it like it is, my nigga. I have no issue, bro. We just going to have a conversation. That's all we can do to teach the next generation. We already fucked. Really, right now, if you're watching this live, nothing is going to change for you in your lifetime. You're going to be going along with this same type of shit. It is what it is. It is what it is. Terrence Walker, cut your camera, camera on. This for the next generation. I'm going to bring you on, Terrence Walker. G. What's good? What's good with it, man? What's going down with can you? Uh, can you hear me okay, bro? Y'all can hear you. What's going down? Oh, man, ain't nothing much, man. I just wanted to say something real quick, bro. Like, you know what I'm saying? I I don't really uh, appreciate Stephen A. jumping down like that, bro, because he always be on the front line when they come against black people. You know what I'm saying? So it's like every time black people expect him to step up, he always step back when it comes to a situation like this. You know what I'm saying? And yeah. and like, you know, I, I was talking to one of my bros the other day. Like, you know what I'm saying? I was saying, shoot, you know, in the till was only 14 when he was murdered. You know what I'm saying? They never gave him justice. It came out the woman lied on him. They never sentenced the lady. They never went back and got her. You know what I'm saying? But when it's always vice versa, when a white person do something years ago, is oh, let's forgive him or something, something, something. You know what I'm saying? But Cosby had to fight for his life when it turns out the case was even faulty to where they had to drop it. You know what I'm saying? They had to set bro free. So it's like, you know what I'm saying? It come to a point to where it's like, we just going to have to X this nigga out as a whole. You know what I'm saying? Like, people like him, we got to X him out as a whole. His family not even from America, but he always speaking for black people. 
you know what I'm saying? It's family from the islands and stuff like that. Emmanuel Ocho, all of them people, you know what I'm saying? So it's like, we got to, as a black people, we got to start checking these people like, bro, don't say nothing about us unless you want a war behind it. And I ain't talking about, you know, killing nobody, hurting nobody, but I mean, we're going to end your career, bro. You know what I'm saying? On some real shit, because you got power. Nah, facts. Because, and, and like I say, bro, I don't expect people in position to speak up for us. Yeah. I don't expect people in position to stand up for what's right. Don't speak right, right. against us. Don't speak right. against us. Fam, you have a family to take care of. You have you have you have a family to take care of. You got kids. I don't think you got no kids, but you have a family to take care of. You have a career that you care about that you work hard to get. And right. I don't expect you to lose that for the cause, my nigga, because everybody right, right. Got, everybody got built for that. But don't speak against the cause, my nigga. Right. Right, that right. That's real talk. Point, bro. This is my point. The photo came up. Who cares how it came up? You are a white man in America, which is a white red country that is yeah. still thriving off of keeping black people down, keeping black people working for them. This is something right, that's right. good. So when that type of photo comes out, no matter how it got there, people have a right for an explanation. You don't have to hmm. answer. You have a right not to answer. He chose not to answer. Now I have a right to make an opinion about it. That's very true. That's all it is, bro. That's all it is. You get yeah. paid to talk every day, Stephen A. So why is it a problem? Because you talk about shit, you don't just talk about niggas hooping on the court. Right. You know, people talk about shit. When people talk about shit that ain't got nothing to do with the game, personal lives, you pick and choose when you be like, well, why this gotta come up now? Why does it matter? Nigga, why does it matter if Kyrie Kyrie Irving tweeted? That ain't got nothing right. to do with basketball, nigga. Right, 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 right. None of this shit matters. You're right because you talk about shit that don't matter. This is your yep. job now. Y'all be on ESPN and sports networks talking about all types of shit besides the game. Y'all right. not when it comes to black people. Like. When it comes to black people. You said what? You know what I'm saying? Yeah, y'all want to put talk about everything outside their life. Like even with I remember a time when they was talking about the uh DeAndre Coppins down here when he was talking about you want to get paid a little bit more. You know, Brian you know, about his baby mama. It's like dog, what DeAndre Hopkins was never a problem off the field, never nothing. So why all these other situations gotta come into effect when it, when I just want some more paper? You know what I'm saying? And yeah. my last point, bro, because I don't want to take up too much of your time, and hopefully I ain't, this wind ain't too loud. But, bro, you know what I'm saying? When it comes to, you know what I'm saying, Jerry Jones being there, it's like everybody at this school knew what was going down. You can't tell me that he didn't know what, what the situation was going on. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, shoot, bro, he knew these people was arguing. He knew the people was blocked. They was blocking black people from getting in. Why are you so close to that? Why are you so close to the confusion? You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? I appreciate you for letting me on to the platform, bro. But man, I enjoy I enjoy everything, all your content that you put out, and you hold down the city real hard for you, bro. I appreciate you. For sure, appreciate the support, man. That's it. Sure. So, nah, bro, we, we gotta talk about this type of shit, my nigga. We gotta talk about this. Like I say, they got a right to feel how they wanna feel. They got a right to do what they want to do. But I have a right to my opinion also. But when you start saying things against black people, that's when I get disrespectful, Stephen A. That's when I get disrespectful. That's when I get disrespectful, nigga. Straight up. Anybody else want to tap in? Did anybody else want to tap in? Let's listen to the rest of this of this. This this nigga. Now I understand. Jerry Jones got to take that pot. He got to take that pot. But he's the one cutting that check, not me. He's the one that's been waiting for a Super Bowl championship, not me. He's the one that doled out $95 million over the last two years for that quarterback, not me. So he can take that position and y'all can listen to exactly what he said. And I'm not saying he's lying. 
But what else is he supposed to say? Is he supposed to sit up there and say, in rush, I trust? I don't care about Dak Prescott. Is that what he's supposed to say? 105, the fan, stop it. The fact of the matter is, Jerry Jones is going to take the posture that he's going to take because he has no choice. I'm re- Listen, I don't have anything against That's my brother right there. It's them damn Cowboy fans that get on my nerves. But Jerry Jones, he should run hot and cold because it looks like I'm rooting against the Cowboys. I'm not rooting against them. I root for the misery of that damn sorry, nauseated, disgusting fan base that gets on my last damn nerve. And I will never apologize for that. I hope y'all have a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year, according to my standards. Hey, bro, this nigga lame. You a fucking lame, bro. You a fucking lame, dog. You a fucking lame. Uh, that, that shit lame, bro. It ain't no way around it, my nigga. You can't, bro. The photo there with the man, we in 2022. They still killing people because they black, my nigga. That's all I'm going to say about that shit, bro. You know what I'm saying? You fucked up with me, nigga. I don't give a fuck what college you went to, man. Shout out to Dallas, man. Shout out to Dallas. Did anybody else want to come tap in on this shit, bro? It is what it is, bro. I'm calling it. We ain't playing no games with niggas no more. We can't. Can't afford to. It is what it is, bro. The nigga lame, bro. And see, and see, I try to, I try to keep it cool, bro, because a nigga never know who he gotta work with, right? A nigga try to play the game and, 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 and be politically correct. Because a nigga never know, like, hey, man, I might need to work with this nigga one day. Don't burn no bridges. But it's like, nah, my nigga. Nah, fuck that shit now, nah, bro. We ain't doing that whole ass shit no more, nigga. I don't care no more, nigga, because I'm sitting up here feeling away about this shit, nigga. I'm going to let it be known how I feel, nigga. I'm going to let it be known how I motherfucking feel. Fuck that. Straight up, dog. And, and see, I'm a nigga that has done that. Well, hey. A nigga might feel away, but when it comes to this this black people shit, my, my, my motherfucking feelings ain't finna be reserved on that, my nigga. You know what I'm saying? When it come to that, not when it come to my people, nigga. You on the highest one of the top, you on the number one sports channel in the in the in the game, nigga. You on the number one sports broadcast, the number one sports show. You are on the number one sports show spitting, spilling that bullshit. I ain't with the cancel culture shit at all, nigga. But you don't get to go on there and try to present a way of saying something is wrong. Nah, nigga, we feel how we feel, nigga. I ain't here to cancel no goddamn body. I don't give a fuck. But, nigga, I call out the hypocrisy, nigga. So I tried to come on here and keep it cool with Stephen A. Smith, but you done fucked up with me, nigga. You done fucked up. You crossed the line now. Now we got to go straight at you, my nigga. You sit up there, and if that was Kyrie Irving, nigga, and he stood in front of Doe that was going against that same group of people that tried to shut Dog down, they wouldn't give a damn if it was 100 years ago. You're going to have to explain this, my nigga, and have your shit on point. But because you a fan of somebody or you rock with somebody, it's 65 years old. So what? Nah, my nigga, you don't stand for what you, you don't speak for us, bro. You from New York, nigga. This some Texas Southern business. I'm not here to tell nobody how to feel. And we ain't pushing no cancel culture on nobody. But a nigga got a right to feel about something that came out. That's what the world is now. Y'all get paid to talk about shit that's outside of sports, my nigga. That's your job. So when shit come outside of sports, don't question why it came out. They talk about what players is tweeting, what they doing off the court, everything to what, but the, what's doing. They talk about it all. That's all I'm saying. But we hit on man. Yeah, I don't, nah, my nigga. You wrong to me. We talking about 14, nigga. 
Nigga talking about 14 years old, 14 years old. Nigga, Emmett Till got uh, slaughtered at 14 and never got justice, nigga. Yeah. Uh, how about that, nigga? Yeah, nigga. Straight up. But yeah, man. Niggas fucked up with me, bro. And like I said, I'm not trying to cancel Jerry Jones, my nigga. I'm not trying to cancel nobody. I just say the hypocrisy. That's all I call out. Reality and understanding, man. Reality and understanding, man. Y'all make sure y'all subscribe to the channel, too. If you ain't subscribed, hit that like button, man. Where we at on them likes, bro? What else went down today that I need to talk about, man? Anything else went down today I need to address? I had to come tap in on this, though. This was mandated for a nigga. Get them likes up, man. Get a nigga to at least 150 on them motherfuckers. That's what I be saying, bro. It's like we expected to fall in line about everything, my nigga. Fall in line, fall in line. Don't say nothing. Look in the mirror. But when it's time for other motherfuckers to look in the mirror, it's a problem. When you tell other people to look in the mirror, it's a problem, my nigga. If I tell a nigga to, uh, if I tell, if I, if I tell another motherfucker look in the mirror, it's a problem. But they tell me to look in the mirror. Ah, oh, nigga, you good? Uh, it's whatever. Um, shout out to everybody showing the love. Tyson Garcia, yeah, man, Boosie be going down through there, don't he? Yeah, I saw what's going on with that. I ain't gonna lie, though, bro. It's just not good to bring that type of stuff to social media, in my personal opinion. Um, I don't, I don't really see, you know... Boosie is on boss. He is on 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 a uh, label on team legend in the game. I just don't get what you get out of bringing social media into your uh your personal, you know, bringing us into your personal family life problems. Like I don't feel like nothing good comes from that. You know what I'm saying? He said he got 6K. Yeah. Yeah, man. I mean, that's what that is. Um, oh, you talking about the one that I was got his nephew arrested? Yeah, the shoe hustle. I saw that online. I don't think that is confirmed by the news, bro. And who knows if dog is even a suspect for real, like. Wait till the police really do it. Uh, they research. The they they already said before this dude got arrested. That don't even look like the same nigga, bro. Just keeping it a thousand. You remember they said this dude was dead. Then they said he was arrested. All these reports was fake, bro. They don't, they, they don't even know if this man shot or killed him or not. That's why I'm not reporting on that. I'm going to wait till it come out.
Wait till the facts come out, bro. They don't even look like the same nigga to me, bro. Just my personal opinion. <laughs> like, the same nigga from the photos, they don't even look like homie. I could be wrong, though. It don't look like him, though, to me. It looked like they playing with another nigga picture. Let me see something real quick. The media, rap and hip hop media is trash now to keep it all the way a thousand. BP, I'm going to send you something. BP, you in here? Bro, these websites that they getting this shit from, I just don't even feel like they credible, bro. And, and, and wait till the police come out and announce it, bro. But these niggas just want to do the fake news shit. Rap and hip hop media has become trash. I'm a part of this shit too. I'm not pointing the finger. I have to accept that I'm a part of it. Rap and hip hop media is it's become a real joke. Niggas do niggas is thirsty to build their platform now. Hold on, I'm gonna send this shit to my nigga real quick. I need to ask him something. I ain't gonna lie though, bro. That nigga Wack funny as shit, dog. Like, Wack was getting on that big U, the, the nigga, not big U, um, the DJ U nigga from Chicago for interviewing Charleston White. That shit was fucking hilarious, bro. That that shit was fucking hilarious how Wack was questioning that nigga, bro. Hey, I'm texting it to you, nigga. It's something that, that makes me feel like a clear thing about this that makes me feel like this is not even the same nigga. Um, black people straight, man. We're going to be all right. Uh, Mitch Smith, was you that nigga that was talking earlier? Um, Mitch Smith, you got for the drop the link. You got two minutes to click that link and come on, or you finna get blocked. Go create you another email if you want to come back on here. I'm going to do it to, 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 to get you the fuck up out of here with your nonsense. You now have a minute and 30. You have a minute and 20. You now have a minute.
You now have 40 seconds. Um, I don't know, bro. I'm gonna watch this real quick. This list, this shit was funny as shit, bro. I ain't gonna lie. The way Wack was talking to this dude, dog, the dude DJ U nigga, that shit was funny. I gotta find the right one though. When he like came on there, Wack was like interrogating the nigga about the interview. That shit was fucking hilarious, dog. Where what fucking videos that we watch? This shit was entertaining as fuck, bro. This gotta be it right here. Hold on. Is this it? It was some music playing on that. Hold on. Dog, this nigga whack, dog. This nigga is entertaining without even trying. What up, fam? Welcome back to another video. It's your boy, DJ A. Sharp, right? No. No. That's, that's, that's a fact as well. Oh, bro, let me ask you something. Time to steal Christmas. You didn't, you didn't feel no kind of way from Hello. there. Man, you know, dude, like the cutout, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Somebody hit me in trouble. We thought that she was in Chicago. No. Clay is and shit. Mute up and let Wack talk to the man, please. What's going on? I came, I came to tap in with y'all. What up? No, they say you the one did the interview with Charles and White. <laughs> yeah, that's me. They did that interview happen in Chicago or Dallas? Uh, Fort Worth, Texas. Oh, you was in? Oh, yeah. Somebody hit me and talked. We thought that she was in Chicago. No, nah, no, nah, we had interviewed in Chicago before, though. Got you. Yeah. Man, that nigga didn't even have nothing in that motherfucker. Y'all should have knocked dude out. Man, you know, dude like to cut up. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, you know, it was expected. You know what I mean? But it was you know, expected for him to pull a strap out on you guys? Nah, nah, nah. Hell nah. I wasn't expected that he was going to do that, you know? But for him to be, you know, as obnoxious as he was, you know, that yeah, was expected. You personally should have slept that nigga. Yeah, for sure, you know. Locked in place, there was no bullets in the gun. He just did that for sure. So, you guys should have been on that motherfucker right there. You ever saw a dog balk in his yard and he get loose and run? Yeah, that was him. That's what you were dealing with. And then he put the pistol down, too. Yeah, so, you know. Yo, you used to be King Von DJ or no? He go that's, right. that's, that's some fact as well. Oh, bro, let me ask you something. <laughs> you, didn't, you didn't feel no kind of way when he got disrespectful with dude name? Oh, I definitely, I definitely, I definitely uh felt some type of way and still feel some type of way. That's the reason why I went to holler at him. You couldn't do nothing. You was out of bounds. You was on his turf. But yeah, oh. you know, uh, you know, yeah, 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 yeah. I feel some type of way for sure. You know what I mean? So when. You know, motherfuckers be on the internet, you know what I'm saying, saying this and that about bro now, you know, I'm 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 gonna go see what's to him, you know. So that's 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 what that is for Charles White. You know, he likes to talk a lot of shit, so I I, I wanna go see what's to him. And nobody else gonna go see what's to him. <clears throat> I didn't like that statement, DJ. You I don't you know, um ain't nobody else gonna see what's to him. Nah, bro. I DJ you do your thing. You a nigga in media, but don't. I don't like when people do stuff and, 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 you know, try to make it seem like it's something that it's not. And it's like, ain't nobody else going to see what's to him. My nigga, he disrespecting your uh, artist, a nigga that used to work with, a nigga that was paying you. He disrespect the nigga that was paying you, bro. Yeah, shout out to 50 Cent, man. They gave 50 Cent a key to the city. That's dope. Um, that's dope. Uh, I just be like, bro, you went to him to get the views, bro. Like it is what it is. 
You know what he doing? I'm not booking. I'm not sitting down in front of no nigga who disrespected my dad, a nigga I used to work with that died, bro. Like, I'm just not. Like, the views ain't worth that to me. To each his own, though. I never tell DJ you how to run this shit or whatever. Nothing like that. Do your shit, but you got to understand why niggas would criticize you, G. That's just what it is. So, hey, but do them. But this is what I'm saying. Do them. You just let him have it his way, low key. Ah, uh, nah. Huh, hey, hey, did this, bro. I don't know who just said that, but no, nah, I went to see what's to him for sure. You know what I'm saying? Uh, went to see him what did you see? For sure. <laughs> so, when you put up saying is when you went down there to see him, right? <laughs> what you say, what you say, what you go on the scene because he already did, did been disrespectful, and then the nigga got disrespectful again. So, I mean, <laughs> I mean but, but then was all his people there, and it was your people. <laughs> wait, wait. I, guess I, I have my people. You can people. tell, wait. <laughs> well, yeah, we was definitely in his hometown. You know, little shit though, little shit. I just, I, I, I just tapping in. I heard y'all chatting about it the other day. You know. Um, so, what's your definition of seeing what's to him, <laughs> bro? Why they question well, my this? Definition thing? of seeing what's to him is, 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 is getting up close on him. You know what I mean? And, like I said, seeing what's to him, you know. See, like I said, when nobody else go do it, ain't nobody. You else had no intentions on doing nothing to the nigga. You want to talk to? Him. <laughs> I mean, intentions. I mean, intentions like what? What y'all thought was going down there? I mean, no, I'm just saying a nigga. The nigga was low, out of line. What? <laughs> what? what? Yeah. Like, so, like, you know, like, that's what I say. What? 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 What, what was I supposed to go down there and kill him? No. Nah, uh, 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 hey, I hey. mean, bro. I mean, well, I mean, you know, I, first of all. Let's establish one thing. Are you a you a civilian or you a street nigga? Am I a civilian or am I a street nigga? Yeah, I don't know. I you know I don't. <laughs> well, that tells me so at that point that tells me what your mentality is. Okay, cool. So if you ask me if I'm gang affiliated. <laughs> If you ask me if I'm a street nigga, yeah. So I don't know how now, you ain't got to be gang uh, affiliated to be a street nigga. I mean, that's why I say I don't know how you know, people have their own different, you know what I'm saying? All right. You know? All right. So you you have a you have hustle in the street, you come from the street. So okay, so I mean, we ain't saying possibly have to go kill him because you went down there to do some service or work on with a camera. But at one point <laughs> Is the disrespect or be aggressive was just because it seemed to me like he came ready to address it however a nigga wanted to address it. For <laughs> so, uh, so, uh, do so you what, feel what, like what, what, after you <laughs> watch <laughs> <laughs> Hey, bro, y'all cannot tell me that this nigga Wack is fucking funny. Bro, this nigga whack is fucking hilarious, dog. Shit, bro, you should have hit that nigga in his motherfucking mouth, bro. <laughs> After yeah. you sat back and watched him, like, okay. The gun stopped it. What? what? You was, nah, nah. Because he had action before the nigga even reached. But what I'm pretty said, you know, fuck King Bond, the mama, and nah, Chicago, nah. and all the dead niggas, all kinds of shit. <laughs> or even reach. Yeah, yeah. I'm laughing at whack, y'all. Rest in peace, King Bond. God bless his soul. In a whole Dug all the right? people, bro. Mm -hmm. Like I don't yeah. agree with that shit. Yeah, I was, so I'm telling my I'm, what I'm looking at is, and then and okay, then, this no, nigga been disrespectful on prior. You want to go holler at him? You sit down to holler at him. He get even hey, more disrespectful. Yeah. Oh my bad, I'm gonna cut you. I ain't know if you get. Yeah, hey, yeah, he get the most in that room too. A whole lot of guns is in that room. I kind of figured y'all was out there. A whole lot of guns in that room. Did, did your room. people have? Did your people have man, one? Man, what? What I say? It was, bro, what? <laughs> hey, so, 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 so I guess. I guess what we're not understanding. Yeah, you gonna, listen to what he's saying. I hear what he's saying. I hear it. I want y'all to understand what he's saying, <laughs> and I've been telling y'all. He didn't want to take off. The reason why I don't acknowledge this full game shit. <laughs> he just said it was a whole lot of guns in that room, right? It's obvious, right? 
the guns in the room wasn't all in his favor, right? So now you got to keep it real with yourself. Mm -hmm. Even though Charles did call the police on camera, set niggas up with the fans on camera, it's still niggas willing to show up with the niggas. Ditto's coming up. What's, well, I know he is. You know I know he is. It's still niggas willing to show up for the nigga to protect the nigga. So that's why I don't out of the streets, but I'm tripping off the, off the brother on the line. What do that? You, he right here. Like, hold on, kiddo. You told me you went to address Charleston because he was already disrespectful towards King Von. He was King Von DJ. Cool. You get down there, he get even more disrespectful. So at what point when you say you going to see him about it, was you going to address the nigga? Was you it was you the one who sat down and started smoking the blood? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's me for sure. That's him. <laughs> Hell yeah. Hold on, bro. Like, so I'm saying, like, you didn't feel the need after you went and looked at that shit. Did you say, man, I should have hit this nigga in his motherfucking mouth? Man. The nigga this, this, this you from Chicago or no? Or you from the suburb? I'm over here uploading that motherfucker right now. Yeah, so like now. Nah, okay, are you both your cop? I ain't gonna lie, bro. This, 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 this is kind of crazy, dog. I ain't gonna lie, this is crazy. But uh, Lofton Norris said at the beginning of your stream, the Stephen A. part. I just have a question. You never heard of the Rooney Rule? Now I know what the Rooney Rule is. I know what it was, but I just said that that's a shame that they had to implement a Rooney Rule. I, I know what the Rooney Rule is, though. I know about it. But I'm talking about it's a the problem is that they had to even come up with that. That's what I was getting at. But I've heard about it before. I've seen it on ESPN, get talked about all that. I'm just saying that that's the world we live in, and this is why people would want to question Jerry Jones. That's what I'm talking about with Stephen A. Smith, like, this is why he's getting questioned, my nigga, because of shit like this. Because of shit like this. So that's my point. Like, why are you surprised or you acting like people are in the wrong for questioning where he stands with black people? Because the NFL has been known to be a racist league. I'm not calling him a racist. But I'm saying the NFL is a racist league. It operates in racism. Just keeping it a thousand. I go, you from the suburbs. No, I'm from the rack, bro. I'm from the rack, bro. I'm DJU312. That is me. I am him. You feel me? This, okay. this, this the real him. But you say you a street hey, nigga. Hey, where kiddo at? Is kiddo on the line? Kiddo for sure left you. He right there. I called him in here. Yeah. All right. Like, yeah. Well, that's well, he ain't, he ain't yeah, stepping yeah. that. Cause you know kiddo would have hit no, that no, nigga no, in his no, mouth. I asked him to stand it, but I'm saying kiddo know what kiddo know who I am. So I'm saying like, why you? Why, why does you it do look like that? Like that kiddo violate. talk. Why you do that? You say why it look like he violating us? Violating us half. Nah, I was just saying, why you let folks do that though? Like, why you ain't like. <laughs> what y'all was out of town, right? Yeah. Yeah, he said it was a poor work. But still, what? though, you, you from the right, though. You supposed to be from the right, man. That shit was watching. Yeah, yeah. I ain't gonna lie. You, you know that was watching. I understand you got to You see, I can't really get mad at you because you. I get mad at you for how you came. You ain't said nobody was. I, I, I know you a vlog. You know what I'm saying? But he still let you. Y'all, he said he a street nigga, kiddo. He said that, kiddo. That shit should have went up. No I asked him because I asked him because. You asked let his folks talk to you like that. And let that's him talk different. To folks that's different. Right. Hey, hey, you. I'm listening, guy. You want to think that she was bogey though? Hey, 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 hey I'll teach like you just tried to uh, put that little twist in that whack. Hey, don't play with me, gang. Hey, hey what twist? Hey, hold on. Hey, first of all, I'm going to be more disrespectful because you didn't go and do it. Hey, one mic, one twist, homie. No, no, he ain't no dog. No, you know what I'm saying? Wait, I just asked you that, bro. No, no, no. I asked you if you were a street nigga or a civilian because if you'd have told me you was a civilian, 
I, I wouldn't even expect you to do nothing, homie. Nah, nah, nah. What I said was, I said if you ask me and my gang affiliated. No, no. I said it's street nigga. You don't gotta be gang affiliated to be a street nigga, bro. Right, right. So what you mean a twist, bro? But I'm saying, because like, if you want to call me a whack, I mean, I'm a, I'm a civilian. I'm a as well, though. You like to say, I am a flogger. Like, you know what I'm trying to tell you? Well, like, I flogged too, but nigga, but I'm a street nigga. I plug too, but ain't no nigga finna sit and fuck my face like that. I got I plug too, nigga. Like, what you saying? I'm just saying, like, I was. So then you to think that what you should do, bro, is adjust and say, "Hey, bro, I'm not a street nigga. I'm just a blogger. I asked you. <laughs> ain't nothing wrong with being a civilian, my nigga. Nothing wrong with that. I ain't gonna lie, bro. I'm gonna keep it a thousand. Um. DJ, you and Charleston White gave me content for that day. And before I get up out of here, I just want to say the real, bro. This is where media is now. It's all about clicks and views, my nigga. There is no real substance. There is no real understanding. Charleston White has been dissing King Von, other dead rappers from different cities. If you're sitting down in front of Charleston White, and to my understanding, DJ, you has interviewed Charleston White before. He sat there and booked him and paid him so he could get views to his platform. You're not trying to get no understanding or nothing with that nigga. And it's obvious right here with your answers, G. And I have no issue, no problem with him. I commentated on his content because I wanted to get the message out that Texas, it's crash dummy to pull out a gun, to cock a gun. Charleston White is just doing his little stuff so he can get clicks and views, my nigga. This is not the behavior that you should not be ex, uh, putting out there if you're trying to consider yourself somebody that we should be paying attention to and following. To each his own, though. To each his own. Do what y'all do. Y'all have a right to do what y'all do. We have a right to have an opinion about it. It is what it is. The fact that you even went and, no, he paid Charleston White. He already interviewed Charleston White. You know what I'm saying? He already paid Charleston White to come down here. The thing is, this is on video. It looks bad on video. It's a video of this man sitting in front of you, disrespecting the artist that used to pay you for DJing, disrespecting his mom, disrespecting your city. Why would you even put that video out? Nobody's expecting him to crash out. It's the presentation of it. He put himself in that position is what they saying. He claims to be a street nigga. See, y'all have to understand this. You went down here to interview this nigga knowing what type of time he be on. So if you claim you represent Chicago as a street nigga, niggas is going to say, hold on, bro. Why are you even putting this out? But he put it out because he wanted to get the views and get his money back. He put himself in there. You put yourself in there as a man. If you say, fuck Houston, I'm not going to interview you. I'm from the culture. These other niggas are not from the culture. Not him. I'm not saying him because I don't know where he's at. But you can't come tell me fuck Houston and fuck a dead fuck Pimp C and all this and then come on my platform. It's not happening, bro. It's not happening. I don't know where DJ U stands with that. He might tell himself it's all about entertainment. It's all about getting the views. It's all content. I'm not like that. I can't expect everybody to do that. I don't respect, I don't respect that. Kenny Jr., I would have to agree. And that's where we at now. That's, that's why media is trash. That's why you have this situation with Adam 22. How that went down is because we have let the game become trending, going viral in views. Adam 22 is 38 years old, bro. This kid is, he's old enough to be this kid's dad. 
and a grown as a he could have had him as a grown man. You are twice this dude's age. Why are you puppeteering and puppet mastering him for failure? Shout out to DJU. I have no issue with homie. I have no issue with none of these people, but I'm going to give real honest commentary on the situation. I'll give real honest commentary from here. I, I just got to. We can't sit up here and turn the eye and da 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 because this is what happens, right? When one person do it, niggas be like, oh, man, it's understandable. It makes sense. You know what I'm saying? Dawg said, we claiming these cities and don't own none of it. Do you claim America, nigga? I like you said that, QB. I like you said that, QB. They want black people. To, they want you to feel stupid for claiming a block your mama don't own, right? They want you to feel dumb. Don't claim your hood. Your mama don't own it. Don't claim your block. You don't own it. Don't die over a block you don't own. But they want you to go overseas and die over a country that don't like your black ass. They want you to wave the American flag proudly but feel ashamed for waving your neighborhood flag. But you got education, experiences, grew up in brotherhood where you from. But it's different though, huh? See, you know what that is? That's look in the mirror, nigga. But you don't, but we don't want you to tell us to look in the mirror. I don't do that. Oh, y'all niggas claiming cities y'all don't own. And y'all claim blocks y'all don't own. Okay. But I can go wave this American flag and fly across the world to go kill people. Yeah. We don't own the schools we claim. Right on. I'm not here to do the semantics. I'm I bro, I told y'all I operate in reality. Cause they always telling us, look up the look in the mirror, nigga. Look in the mirror. Look in the mirror, nigga. Y'all stupid. That wasn't shitting on the military, nigga. How did I shit on the military? If you took it away, if you took it away, you took it how you took it, my nigga. You could take it like a man and accept it as facts because it is facts. Or you could take it the other way, nigga. Take it how you try to take it, nigga. ACW. If you want to come on and speak on it, let's speak on it, nigga. You said I'm shitting on the military, so you disrespected me because you saying I'm doing something that I ain't doing, nigga. When did I shit on the military? I said America, nigga. When did I shit on the military? See, that's what I don't like, and that's what I got to work on. That's one of my flaws. I get upset and I start getting disrespectful when niggas type shit like this, ACW. Because I get mad at you and start going off. And I got to work on that in my commentary and what I do. And I'm finna get better on that. That's one of my weak points. Letting you niggas get me mad, nigga. Giving you niggas too much power because you can't accept reality, nigga. I'm comfortable in my skin. I'm comfortable with the facts. If you chose to go to the military, nigga, you killed for a country that don't want your black ass, nigga. No, no, no. I didn't say shit. ACW, are you willing to come on here? Nigga, they don't like you, nigga. What is you talking about? ACW, come on here, nigga. I didn't say nothing bad about the military. You said my words, homie. No, nigga. I said. Nah, nigga, you talking about my motherfucking words, nigga. That wasn't my words, nigga. I didn't say nothing about the military. I wasn't disrespecting the military, nigga. You putting words in my mouth. Hey, get your re get your listening and comprehension skills up, nigga. You're not on my level. You're not on my level. You will get there one day if you watch this platform long enough, nigga. You watch this platform enough, you will get your shit together, nigga. ACW, are you going to come join or are you going to type? The link is here. Let me drop the link for you, nigga. 
grab the link and come join. You telling me I said something I ain't say. I don't like that. You lying on me, nigga. You lying on me, nigga. I don't appreciate you lying on me. Nah, that nigga ain't no troll. He said you diss in the military now. That's a real person. Nah, I ain't no boy. I ain't no boy. You a nigga boy. Because you defending that shit. I didn't disrespect the military, my nigga. You a boy, nigga boy. Yeah, yeah, nigga. You want to work for master, nigga. That's what you doing. I call the spade a spade, nigga. See, that's the difference between me and niggas. I'm speaking reality on this motherfucker, nigga. That's the difference. You niggas is not on my level when it comes to thinking in reality and using logic. A lot of you niggas. See, I didn't graduate high school with the all A's. I didn't make good grades. I didn't excel in a lot of things in life. I had a lot of failures. I fucked up a lot, and I made a lot of mistakes, nigga. But one thing you can't take from a nigga is his motherfucking logical thinking, nigga. Logical thinking and his way to really relate and break shit down and understand what's really going on. No, I'm disrespecting you, nigga. No. You're doing master's work. Because you, 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 use a, use a motherfucking, use a nigga boy. That's what you is. Because you don't want to accept the reality. I understand that I work for somebody, but I'm not afraid to say that. You the one that want to be in, in, in denial and attack your own brother if you black for speaking the real nigga. All I said was nigga. Like I said, nigga. Yeah, we just, we already got in on that nigga Stephen A. Smith. We already went at that nigga. Man, that nigga don't want to come on here, bro. He don't want to stand on that bullshit. That nigga know he's sounding crazy right now. That nigga know he's sounding crazy as fuck right now, man. Hey, like I said, bro, they want a nigga, they want a nigga to feel like he crazy. They want niggas to feel like they crazy and they tripping. Yeah, for sure. But like I say, hey, cut your camera on, nigga. Cut your camera on, nigga. I can't see you. You ain't got to cut it on to come on here, but I need to see you on the backstage. Cut your camera on in the backstage. I can't see you. Cut it on, my nigga. Cut your light on, nigga. I ain't gonna put your face on here. I ain't gonna put your face on here, but we in the backstage. I need to see you in the backstage, nigga. Angewar the commander. That ain't even a conversation, my nigga. Hey, cut your camera on, nigga. Antoine the commander, that's not even a conversation. That ain't even the conversation that we was having. That ain't even, see, that's how you niggas do. Y'all come in here with the other shit. AC, is you coming on yes or no, nigga? Cut your light on so I can see what you look like. Pause and make sure you a real person. Before I bring you on here, let's get it, nigga. We waiting today, Junior.
Nigga, where your camera at, nigga? Antoine, the commander. We're talking about you immediately coming here. Hold on, nigga. Oh, you's a fucking troll. I ain't even gonna answer you. All right, AC is not showing his camera, whoever this nigga is, so fuck it. Let me say my point one more time, and I'll get up out of here. Like I said before, my nigga, the hypocrisy that be upon us, we all walk we all walk and live in a form of hypocrisy, my nigga, straight up. Everybody is hypocritical in some form of fashion. That's just the world. But they want us to hold the mirror up more than they hold the mirror up. So this is how the game go, nigga. They will tell you it's stupid to represent your city, represent your block or your neighborhood for, 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 uh, that you're from. That's stupid. That's what they tell you. They tell you it's stupid to represent a block you don't own, a city you don't own, a neighborhood you don't know, that you have ties to. When you grew up, hey, that's stupid. Nigga, you killing over that block of that hood. But, hey, it's okay to join the army and wave their flag up and go across the water and kill over that. But they don't fuck with you, nigga, for real, deep down inside. Y'all remember them niggas that went to the war? The, the military was seg segregated, nigga. We don't even fuck with you niggas. Y'all can come kill over this motherfucking country, but hey, y'all stupid for killing over y'all block of y'all neighborhood. Murder is murder, my nigga. I don't agree with it either way. That's what I say. And that's not disrespecting or shitting on the military. It's just me pointing out, they tell us to look in the motherfucking mirror and be ashamed. But we have a problem with looking in the mirror for what we doing. Salute to my soldiers, most definitely, for standing up. But I'm just calling out the real right now. That ain't disrespecting no military at all. How niggas don't claim it, nigga? Oh, exactly, exactly. Hey, ACW, are you going to come join or no? Are you going to type in the comments? ACW, are you going to come on and show your face, nigga? If you don't, you got two minutes, Jack. I'm going to cut the timer on for you because I'm going to give you a chance, nigga. If you don't come on here in two minutes, let me set the timer. You are leaving this chat today, and I want you to look in the mirror and look at yourself as a nigga that can't stand on what you say or do. So next time somebody feeds you, I know you probably ate, I don't know if you ate good for Thanksgiving. The people that fed you, they need to know, man, y'all fed a nigga that can't stand on shit, man. Y'all did all that cooking for me, and I'm really just a nigga that can't stand on what I say at the end of the day. <laughs> Hell, man. Y'all done put all that work in over the stove, put food in my body for a nigga that can't even stand on what he be saying. God damn. Damn, hold on, I can't find my time, my nigga. Hold on, new phone, new phone. What the happened for time? I will do it. Oh, hold on, clock, clock. You got two minutes, nigga. Let's go. Time is a ticking. I'm going to drop the link for you again. Time is a ticking, brother. Ten seconds. Moving fast, nigga. Moving fast. Oh, shit. We getting to 20, nigga. Oh, shit. That's how you going to go out? Oh, shit, nigga. That's how we got to, that's how you leaving the day. Oh, you in the military. Oh, so you took this personal. Hey, my nigga. Hey, that nigga taking it personal. Pussy ass little dudes making career off gossip and internet shit. Hey, my nigga, if you can't live in reality, that's your fault, bro. That's your fault you can't live in reality. 
they told niggas that they can't die over their block of their hood and they should be ashamed of that. That is stupid. But you can't go die over a country that don't fuck with you. The prison system is still intact, nigga. They have yet to acknowledge slavery, nigga. They have yet to give your people reparations, but they are paying all the other groups they did damage to, nigga. What, they got to spell it to you, nigga? Oh, okay. They got to spell it out to you, nigga? Because I never shamed you for going and getting in position, going to the military. All I said is they don't fuck with you for real. Was the military segregated, nigga? Yes, it was. You go to the military for yourself, gang. No, my nigga, you do not go to the military for yourself, gang, nigga. I thought you was going there for your country. I thought you was, as niggas going to the military for the gain or they going for their country? I thought that the reason you go to the military is to be a representat representation of your country. Bro, I didn't say nothing was wrong with it. All I said was they tell niggas don't represent your block or your neighborhood or your city. Don't be proudful about that when you have direct ties to that. But then... Yo, wave the country flag proudly. Be willing, you're, it's honorable to go die for the country and kill people that you don't even know. <laughs> hey, y'all read BZ comment right there, bro. They haven't even acknowledged what they did to black people over here, nigga. Ain't even acknowledging it. The government, nigga. What government, what, what president did something for black people? Bill Clinton, what he did for black people? George Bush, what he did for black people? Obama, what he did for black people? Donald Trump, what he did for black people? That's the last four presidents of this country. What has Joe Biden done for black people? But black people built this country. Black people built this, co this country, right? Trust me, we don't. We don't, AC ACW. Take your L today. You're in your feelings and you took some shit personal. On your own. I never disrespected nobody in the military. You took that shit personal, my nigga. Look in the mirror. Mike Larry Jr., you served your country. Nothing wrong. Oh, that's that's a troll. <laughs> that's a troll. That nigga troll. Fam, you can join your country. I'm not here to tell nobody nothing. You have a right to serve your country, my nigga. You have a right to serve your country. Yeah, so, hey, and also, shout out to everybody that repped they city. I represent Houston, Texas as a whole. I'm from the north side. I'm H-Town pride. This is the city that I was raised in. The culture that raised me, the lifestyle, the block parties, the basketball, the hanging outside with my ho ho homies. I'm proud to be a Houstonian because this is what I shed blood here. I grew up here. I worked here. These are my roots here. This is my family. Here. So shout out to everybody who represent Houston or any city in America. Shout out to the niggas that rep their hood. Shout out to the niggas that rep their block. And who doing some positive shit. Yeah. Shout out to my LA niggas. Shout out to my Chicago niggas. Shout out to my Detroit niggas. My Dallas niggas. Miami niggas. 
Shout out to my San Francisco niggas. Shout out to my niggas that rep where they from. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Son of son, thank you. Bam. I'm not telling you that you, I'm not shitting on the military, bro. You took it like that. You made that narrative. You took the tape that is that. That means you got to do some self-work, brother. You got to do some self-work. Black guys went to Vietnam, came back home, and it was still segregated even after they fought for their country. Oh, shit. Oh, shit, nigga. Some niggas on the block do. Hey, ACW, is some niggas on the block who mamas need GoFundMe's? We not going to make fun of them. They products of their environment. But it's niggas that go to the army and come back broke, fucked up, and strung out on drugs, my nigga. What's the difference? It's niggas that go to the army today, be in that motherfucker for years, and come back broke, fucked up. Back on the block that they from. Nigga, joining the army is not the end all to be all. I'm not a gang member, ACW, but you take it in personal, bro. What's the difference? If a gang member dies and was struggling before he died, nigga, it's people who in that never gang banged or did violence that's black that die and don't and need help being buried. See what I'm saying? You see how they, they trained you real good, nigga? ACW, you a good boy. Hey, nigga boy. See, you went to directly to gang banging, nigga, but you forgot that it's more black people that die who need help with burial service than it is gangbangers. ACW, what I want you to do is, ACW, where you from, nigga? Where you from, ACW? Come on here. Come on now. ACW, where you from? Because at the end of the day, you're still a nigga, boy. You know that, right? You're still a nigga, don't you? ACW, there are people that have never gangbanged, never broke the law, that work hard every day, that will die and need help being buried. That's reality. It has nothing to do with gangbanging, ACW. ACW, you get that part? And it ain't just black people. I know the media points it out that way. <laughs> I'm only laughing because you thought you was making a point, nigga. And you can't win with big ant. You can't win, nigga. Because I'm not coming from a place of biasness. I'm not biased. I just speak reality. Just keep it in a thousand, nigga. We going to tap in. I want y'all to subscribe to the channel. Hit the like button. Dislike button, however you feel. ACW, I don't know what you want to do. Uh, it's cool. ACW, you keep saying I and me. I and me. That's the difference between you. I speak for the betterment of us. I don't speak for us. I speak for the betterment of us, nigga. I speak for the betterment of we, not me. You've been saying me and we all night. And now you've been saying I, 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 and me. You doing a lot of I and me. 
Big Ant overall message is for the betterment of us to win and get in position. I want you to go rewatch this and look yourself in the mirror, sit back, do what you do to relax, and process this information again and watch your behavior today, ACW, and know how crazy you can look. There are people that end up strung out on drugs under the bridge, right? From all walks of life. But there are also people who are under there right now who are ex-military, veterans, right or wrong. So for you to come over here and act like the military is the end all or be all, it's crazy, bro. You making it an I thing. I'm speaking for the betterment of us. And I don't have the answers, but I'm going to speak the facts. We out, though. Make sure y'all stay on y'all pivot. Stay blessed, man. Kick it with y'all family. Um, stay with y'all family. Live it up. Stay blessed, man. Don't do nothing crazy. It's anti-crash out tonight. I know it's Saturday. Hit that like button on y'all way out and make sure you subscribe, man. Most shit coming. 1,000.